For me, music's always been about the bigger picture and this kind of overall vision and concept. So I don't really have any qualms with where a part comes from or whether it's a sample. It's more about whether it can help to complete the whole picture and experience that music can give you. Back in about mid-2017, we just released our Shapes EP. We are running these block parties and put together this art car and this mural. All this stuff that took a lot of work and, you know, by the end of it, you're kind of like, what is this all for? And later in the year, it hit me during this trip to Japan where I kind of remembered the feeling of what it was like when I started making music. My reaction naturally was to kind of reset everything and throw away some of the tools that we're used to using and these methods and the same plugins and really just create freely again. LA definitely has a really collaborative atmosphere. I don't know if it's the sun or what's going on, but people definitely seem more open here. Um, I've always been a pretty big fan of kind of throwing two people together that wouldn't normally work together and seeing what comes out of it. I found Kevin on Instagram, which is probably the first time that's ever happened. And I heard this riff that he had posted and I was like damn this is exactly what we're going for at the moment so I hit him up and I said let's work and it turns out that, that riff didn't have a home so we just started building around it and um, turned it into a full song <laughs> Bang. Bang. Yeah, actually, I thought this really good idea. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, talking to this guy that gave me this about getting an output. Gotta see. An output. Yeah. Nearly every song sounds better stripped out, which <laughs> says something. <laughs> Think so? Yeah, but then he showed me the drum bus which helped cook them. Oh yeah. Yeah. That was cool. a big part to the sound. Go cool. catch make sure you catch the right bus, eh? Hey? Very important. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You think? My 